Do you remember Little Ricky from I Love Lucy and the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour? If so, you're probably wondering what he's up to today. Little Ricky was played by Keith Thibodeau, who became a star from playing the beloved iconic character. But how did he get his start as an actor and how did he eventually become a successful musician? In this video, we'll take a look at Keith Thibodeau's incredible life and career. Keith's Childhood Keith Thibodeau was born December 1, 1950 in Lafayette, Louisiana. At a young age, he took a keen interest in drums. At age three, he began touring with the Horace Height Orchestra as a drummer. In 1955, Keith's father took him to audition for the character of Little Ricky for the popular sitcom I Love Lucy. The show followed Lucy and Ricky Ricardo, an American couple that portrayed the idyllic and distinctive American lifestyle that was promoted throughout the 50s. After a few seasons, Lucy became pregnant, and audiences soon met the couple's son, Little Ricky. When Keith showed up to the audition, Lucille Ball saw him and immediately knew there was something special about the young boy. She called him forward and wanted to see his performing skills. Rather than seeing him act, she watched him play the drums. She was impressed by his skills and realized she had found her Little Ricky. In 1956, we saw Little Ricky as a young boy. Previously, the character had only been shown as a baby or infant. But with Keith's introduction, we now saw him as a full-fledged character. He was credited by his stage name, Richard Keith. Before we tell you more about Keith Thibodeau's life and career, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Little Ricky's Legacy Keith Thibodeau appeared in over 30 episodes of I Love Lucy. He reprised his role as Little Ricky in the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour and appeared in 13 episodes of this series. While TV sitcoms from the 50s and 60s often seem a bit dated when watched today, the shows created by Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz still hold up. Childhood fans still love watching these shows today, and newer generations are constantly being introduced to their work. Little Ricky remains a popular character even now. In a December 2021 interview with The Post Journal, Keith Thibodeau expressed his surprise at how popular these shows and Little Ricky is even among younger generations. Thibodeau told the news outlet that whenever a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, or 14-year-old comes up to him and says what a fan they are and how much they've enjoyed the show, it still blows him away. I Love Lucy and the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour is a classic part of American culture. Keith Thibodeau has visited the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Museum in Jamestown, New York, Lucille Ball's hometown. He's amazed that the shows still hold up and is pleased with the legacy that Lucy and Desi have left behind. He stated on countless occasions how happy he is to have been a part of their comic creations. He enjoyed his role as Little Ricky, and he felt his on-screen mother was very motherly to him in real life. He also enjoyed Desi's company and has stated that the actor made him feel at ease. Keith even received birthday presents from Lucille Ball while working on set. He still remembers some of the gifts he received from the actress. He recalls many of the episodes he enjoyed working on. One of his favorites was called Lucy and Superman. In this episode, George Reeves, the first actor to play Superman, made a cameo on the show. Meeting his hero was one of the highlights of being a child actor that Keith remembers fondly. At the time, he truly couldn't tell the difference between George Reeves and Clark Kent. He also loved meeting a few other stars during his years. He fondly remembers meeting Maurice Chevalier and Jimmy Durante. Keith's Other Acting Roles while Little Ricky is Keith's best-known role, he also ventured into other acting roles. He mostly played bit parts and small roles on other popular TV shows. These included Shirley Temple's Storybook, Route 66, The Joey Bishop Show, The Sheriff of Cochise, and The Farmer's Daughter. But his best-known role, outside of Little Ricky, was as Johnny Paul Jason in The Andy Griffith Show. He originally played a character named Carter French in a 1962 episode called One Punch Opie, but it was as Johnny Paul Jason that we saw Keith in his other famous role. In this role, he played one of Opie's friends. He appeared in 13 episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. As an adult, he appeared as the character Steamson in the 1975 TV movie A Shadow in the Streets, directed by Richard Donner. This was a drama that followed an ex-convict who tried to reform former inmates. It showed that Keith still had his acting chops as an adult. 
His most recent acting role was as a TV executive in the 2009 Christian film See Me Dance, directed by Greg Robbins. While he seems to have stopped acting for the most part, he still makes appearances in documentaries about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Most recently, he appeared in a 2020 documentary called Lucille Ball, We Love Lucy. David and the Giants Keith never gave up on his drumming, and as an adult, he decided to focus mainly on his music career. He joined the band David and the Giants as a drummer. With the band, he recorded 10 albums and performed hundreds of concerts at venues all over the world. The band was based in Laurel, Mississippi, and mostly toured the southern United States. They were very popular in the northern soul movement in England. At one point, Keith left the band, which had broken up, due to his brief drug problem. Luckily, he managed to kick this habit before long, and the band eventually reunited. During his adult years, Keith became a born-again Christian, along with other members of the band. They began performing Christian rock, which was popular among their legions of fans. To this day, Keith performs in reunion concerts and shows with David and the Giants. His Christian faith has helped him persevere throughout his life. He's been in the spotlight since he was three years old. Most entertainers would not be able to sustain a career for that long, let alone switch from one medium to another. But Keith Thibodeau is a fine example of a disciplined artist who never stops improving on his craft. Keith's personal life Keith is now in his 70s, and his career, albeit not as busy as it used to be, is still going strong. He still performs with David and the Giants whenever the band can get together. He's also always happy to discuss his role as Little Ricky and appear in documentaries. In the 1970s, he married ballet dancer Kathy Denton. He serves as the executive director for her dancing company, Ballet Magnificat. He also helped her launch a training program for ballet dancers in Brazil. He now lives mainly in Jackson, Mississippi. He has a daughter named Tara, who was born in 1979. He also published his autobiography, Life After Lucy, in the 90s. Keith Thibodeau, or Richard Keith as most of us know him, has lived an incredible life. He's gone from being a child star, to a talented professional musician, to a businessman promoting ballet. For many of us, we'll always remember him as Little Ricky. Perhaps this is what he'll be best known for. But one should also appreciate his other acting roles and his incredible prowess as a musician. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite I Love Lucy episode with Little Ricky? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.